we're about to do some tests that hopefully will prove that. To find out, Jamie will fire arrows at increments of 10 feet. In this test, we're going to use the high-speed camera and this scale to measure the speed of the arrow right as it hits the target. Ready to take the first shot from point blank? I am. Jamie's going to use a full strength pull on each arrow. All right, let's go to 20 feet. To make sure they all travel at maximum velocity. That's it. And 60 feet. Oh. <laughs> well, I think you killed something, sir. Now, where did that arrow go? All right, this is 70 feet. I thought this was a ninja special, not night special. This is what I had lying around. Go! Yeah. Not out of work. So, what did they find out? Well, we did pretty good. <laughs> uh, there's effectively no difference. You were consistently between uh, 171 and 179 miles per hour. So what this means for our tests is that it doesn't matter how far away the shooter is from the catcher. The arrow is going to be going about the same speed. And that means the iron fist in the leather glove experiment gets the thumbs up. Those results were pretty clear. They were. It's true. This is something we've known about for a while, and I'm really glad we got to show it on the show, that the speed of an aerodynamic projectile like an arrow has a very low drop-off in speed from the moment it leaves the shooter to the moment it hits its target. That means we were right, and the fans were wrong. I guess if you want to harp on that, yes, that's true. Now I think we can put this one away, and it's time to bring out our real ninja. Just wait till you meet him. Getting an elusive shadow warrior wasn't easy. But the Mythbusters research team not only tracked one down, they got the best in the world. Our ninja has black belt certifications in just about every form of martial arts I've ever heard of, and quite a few I haven't. He totally has it where it counts. He's a reaction training specialist. He's held over 20 Guinness World Records in this field. He's hot stuff. Have you seen our ninja? No, but I'm not sure we'd know whether it was here or not. Hi, I'm your ninja. I'm Anthony Kelly. You don't look much like a ninja. No, I only have my street clothes on. Give me one second. Wow. That's more like it. OK, fans, you, the viewers, demanded we get a real ninja. And despite his non-ninja appearance and Australian accent, he is the best in the business. Well, Anthony might not look like your classic idea of a ninja, but don't take our word for it. We're going to put him into our hollow deck here and run him through some of his paces to see what he can do. So is our ninja fast enough to catch a full-speed arrow? Well, there's only one way to find out. See if he can catch tennis balls. A thoughtful person might just ask, what does catching one of these have to do with catching one of these? Well, it's all about reaction time, and Anthony has fast reflexes. That's what this is about. So before the ninja catches any arrows, they're going to measure the speed of his handiwork. Okay, I'm going to keep time on the stopwatch okay. and count on the clicker. All right, let's go, boys. He's so ready. Now, catching uh. tennis balls may not seem all that hard, and go! But those balls are traveling at 85 miles an hour. That's more or less the speed of a major league fastball. But at 26 feet away, he's standing twice as close to the pitcher. The ninja has less than a fifth of a second to react. He blinks. He'll miss it. 22! And time! Oh, goodness me. 22. This could be a new world record. It sure is. We have it clear as day on high-speed camera. Anthony catching that ball as it comes into him. Apparently, he's set a new world record. 